Hello everyone and welcome to your favorite show on the internet, La Liga Zone. I'm your host Jimmy Conrad and with a little break in the action this past weekend, I thought it would be a good time to recap where things stand on the table, talk about some surprising performers so far this season, and I'm going to name my top 11 young players who are showing us right now why they are definitely the future of La Liga Santander. So let's get to it. And now it's time for the best stories of the week presented by Sling TV. And the first thing that we need to discuss is the table. Because have you seen what's been happening in La Liga this season? It's crazy. Anyone can beat anyone, which is proved by the fact that the top 10 teams are separated by just six points. That's eight points. I don't know why I did that. Six points, easily making it the most competitive season in recent memory. Also, when you have a season like this, some unlikely names are gonna step up and make themselves known to everyone. So my top three, let's call them surprises, who have played extremely well 13 games into this campaign are Levante's goalkeeper, Aitor Fernandez, because with all due respect to Atletico Madrid's Jan Oblak, Barcelona's Marc Ter Stegen, and Real Madrid's Thibaut Courtois, who are all considered some of the top goalkeepers in the world, Fernandez has been the best and most consistent goalkeeper all season, which has kept Levante competitive in every single game. And then there's Valencia's captain, Danny Parejo, who has six goals and two assists already this season, which currently makes him not only the highest scoring central midfielder in La Liga Santander, but also in Europe's top five leagues, which just speaks to how valuable he's been for his team. What a player. And finally, there's Villarreal's Gerard Moreno who has been in fuego this season, scoring eight goals in 12 games, and he's done it from a few different positions too, as the Yellow Submarines manager, Victor Callea, has put him at striker, attacking midfield, and out wide, but it doesn't matter where he plays because he's still finding ways to score goals, which has helped Villarreal become the second highest scoring club this season. So those three players were my most pleasant surprises in the first third of this La Liga Santander campaign. But now it's time to talk about my top three familiar names that are rounding into form at just the right time. And they are Atleti's Alvaro Morata, who has been superb in the last month, scoring in four straight league games to help Atleti get to third. Only one point off the top. And then there's Real Madrid's Eden Hazard, who, after a slow start to his first ever season in Spain, he has been virtually unstoppable over the last few weeks. And I'm not sure any defenders in La Liga know how to stop him which has made his club's attack as dynamic and fluid as it has been all season. And then finally, there is Leo Messi, who after missing a big chunk of the first part of the season due to injury, he has scored eight goals and handed out three assists in his last five league games, which has helped his club Barcelona hold on to the top spot in the table. What a legend. Anyway, that wraps up the best stories of the week from the best league in the world, but as a reminder, Make sure you do not miss a second of La Liga Santander action this season by tuning in live to Sling TV every weekend because Sling TV is the official partner of La Liga in North America. So I'm going to be honest with you. I love putting together my top 11 of the best young players in La Liga Santander because it made me appreciate just how many talented superstars in the making there are in Spain's top division. Also, here are the rules. I'm gonna go with a 4-3-3 formation, and I can't pick two players from the same team, which will allow me to spread the love around. And we're gonna start with the goalkeeper first, which has to be Athletic's 22-year-old Une Simon. He's been fantastic all season long, playing well beyond his years, as he's helped his club be tied with Atleti with the best defense in the league. And then in my back four going from right to left, I'm gonna start with 20-year-old Emerson, who has been lights out for Real Betis this season. And then next to him in the middle, it's 20-year-old Mohamed Salasu, who is locking things down at center back for Real Valladolid. And then next to him, it's Barcelona's 22-year-old Frankie de Jong. And yes, I know he's more of a holding midfielder, but I know he's capable of playing this position. Plus, there are so many talented young midfielders, I wanted to include as many as possible in my top 11, which means that de Jong has to find a spot in the back line. And then finally, out on the left, I'm going with 21-year-old Purvis Estupignan from Osasuna, who has been a revelation this season for his recently promoted club. And then in my three-man midfield, I'm going with 21-year-old Jan Hel Herrera, who has been Granada's best player so far. And then next to him, off of his shoulder, is 21-year-old Federico Valverde, who is yet to lose a game any time he starts for Real Madrid. And then above them in my little triangle in the middle of midfield, and the player I expect to be pulling the strings as the number 10, it's Real Sociedad's 20-year-old Martin Odegaard, who has stepped up his game not just one, but at least three or four levels this season. He's been that good. Then for my front three, I'm going with Valencia's 19-year-old Ferran Torres on the right side because he is really coming into his own this campaign. 
And then on the other side, it's Mallorca's 18-year-old Take Kubo, who continues to get better and better with each passing game. And then in between them, running the show up top, it's Atleti's Joao Felix, who has all of the makings to be one of La Liga's very best players in the very near future. Also, before you start yelling at me for picking the wrong names, I would definitely have these three players coming off my bench. Real Madrid's super talented teenagers, Rodrigo and Vinicius Jr., who are 18 and 19 years old respectively, and Barcelona's 17-year-old Ansu Fati, who showed all of us very early on that he, like all of these players that I have mentioned, have the goods to be legitimate superstars. And that's what pumps me up about La Liga Santander. The league's future is so bright. And all right, everyone, unfortunately, La Liga Zone is done. It is finished, but thank you for watching as always, and be on the lookout for some great games this weekend, especially my pick of the week, Real Madrid versus Real Sociedad. That one should be a cracking affair. See you soon. Un abrazo.